Hi there guys and in this video we're going to be doing a really basic contact form like the one you see in front of you now using um, AWE After Effects and a really good website called emailmeform.com now you're going to have to come and sign up to this first and it's 100% free with the free one though you do get this little message down the side here saying powered by EMF form builders and it's no big deal um, to get a free form like this it's really good I actually didn't actually put this bit into the um, uh, div like I should have done in um, Dreamweaver but it doesn't matter you can still use the website really well and this is just really good to get for free you can pay to get that go away but there's just no point it's just it's really good Then you're gonna create the form and then you just copy and paste it straight into your website now the best thing is this we have the name as you can see the stars are all the ones that are that you need to put we have the name and the last name as you can see we have this nice little pop up if we don't enter anything as you can see and the message and also down here if you don't enter anything as you can see so say if I just type in like a load of numbers letters or something I don't know uh, then I do it that it's it's just obviously not a name it's gonna ask you to do it again then if you don't um, um, add a proper email address so say if I just put yeah right so it's still gonna say it's an invalid email address and you know it's um, and then you have to actually transfer it over stuff like that and it's pretty simple to do so I'm gonna show how to go and quickly create that in emailmeform.com so once you're here you're just gonna go on to sign in I'm just gonna sign in mine you're gonna have to sign up for free now this is just a really good website right so after you signed up I've just gone to the temp the, the my forms um, template now you can use templates but we're not going to do that for this one we're going to be using my form so we're going to create one just the one I've already got that you just saw but we're going to go add form at the top corner we're going to go take me to the form builder I'd like to create my own oh, form, own form yeah click that let it load we just wait right so once we have it as you can see we have the variation code or the image verification if that makes any better sense and we're just going to add a couple of things here now the form title if you simply click on it we can come up with the form title here I want to call this contact me um, and then you can have a little form description I just want to maybe want to put here need to contact me then maybe fill in the boxes Ooh, below then maybe a comma, put, uh, maybe some, maybe put real information, oh, real information, so I can contact you back. Because you're not going to, you want to make sure they use their real information because you're not going to be able to contact them back and they spam obviously aren't going to be able to do it because we have the image verification, so it's the best thing um, we can do. Now, if we just go back to the add field, we might want to do a couple of stuff here. You might just want to edit a couple of these. You can choose the actual background color. So I could do it for the in Dreamweaver. I could actually edit this, and this is what it looks like. Actually, I've got the um, Dreamweaver um, CS5. I got that a couple of days ago. My um, dad actually bought me that as a gift and I thank him really much because a lot of people I wanted to learn it because a lot of people said that the, a lot of stuff doesn't work and I've never been in it before and I'm really liking it so this is this is what it's gonna look like and you can actually do this in um, Dreamweaver you can create all these boxes in a second but it's all a PHP script in that takes a while and that's the best thing about this website this is what this website creates so we're gonna want to um, come along here oops we're gonna wanna come along here and we're gonna go to add field now I'm gonna wanna add a name so if I just click that and the name pops up um, you can edit this I might just wanna put some quotations like that or whatever they're called maybe re required it's obviously gonna wanna be required you wanna know what they're called um, you can add instructions below maybe just add your insert your name or add your name like so, so they know what they're doing. You don't have to put that in. I'm not going to put that in. There's no point. And then I can just click Add Field, and I can go back and add whatever I want. Now I'm going to want an email, so I can have an email address. And um, if I come into this, click Add. We're obviously going to want the email to be required, otherwise we won't be able to 
come back. Put some dots like so. Uh, you can add a confirm email. So you can, they have to confirm it to make sure it is real. That's a good thing to put in. Also add some instructions if you want to. Click add field. Now we might want to add um, a maybe single line text, maybe a um, subject because you might want to see a subject if it's about After Effects. You might want to write After Effects in it if they want to write dr about Dreamweaver. So you can add all them by just clicking single line, changing the text. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to delete that. You can do that if you want. All right. So if we just come back to the Add Field tab. Um, you can even do file uploads if you want to do stuff like that. I'm not going to do that. Um, what else are we going to want? We're going to want to add a paragraph text because they want to add their own text in here. Where it says paragraph, we're going to put message. And some dots. Uh, make sure this is required. Um, you can just use that everyone or admin only, but you're obviously going to want everyone to be chose. You can choose how many columns you want. You can choose how many characters you actually want people to put as their max, but I'm not going to put that because they want to, might want to add as many as they want. So once that's done, I'm going to click Add, and then that's all I want to put in. You can choose obviously multiple jo choice, drop down, chat boxes, all that good stuff. Even file upload. If I just show you that, you can see browse. Maybe if you want a, a website, I can do that. Pretty simple to do. Right, so now I'm just going to want to click Save Form. Just going to click Save in Data, and I'm just going to take me back to the Form Manager. And obviously, we have the two contacts, and I think this is the one we just created. Uh, let's have a look. Nope, this is the one we just created. So I'm just going to go and choose um, Preview this if I click View. It's just loading it now. There we are we have the actual exactly what we're going to add into our website right below here and everything sorted so now once we've done that there's a couple of things you can do you can maybe um, add on the notifications you might want to change your email um, so p people can know where to email you um, you're just going to blur that out, I don't want anyone to see that obviously because that's my email address but you can add your own email um, so that's where they send you their email and stuff like that. There's a couple of other things you can do down here. Um, but simply to get this into Dreamweaver, you are just going to use go to the code. I'll get my code, or whatever it's called. And then where it comes up with the HTML link, don't use that. We're going to want to go to HTML with JavaScript forward slash CSS. Hit that, it'll copy it all for you. Control C, like so. I'm just going to go edit, undo edit source undo so I can just get rid of this for now right so I've just got the template that we made in one of the previous tutorials if you haven't got a template you might want to go watch that tutorial now and in this div tag here or the main information box that we've made I'm just going to go to the code view and as you can see we have this little two little lines going together because that is where I've actually clicked in the design of view I actually click right there then I'm going to hit control V to paste this in Then I'm going to go back to the designer and there we are so now if I go to the preview in Firefox I'm going to save the changes to my contact form go to the internet, let it load it does take a little bit of time to load there we go there it is so we have the contact form everything you can fill, you can even stretch it bigger you can have it bigger, whatever you want set all that out and there's your form fully inserted into Adobe Dreamweaver and in a matter of seconds this would actually take quite a while to do with all the PHP scripting you would actually have to do in um, Dreamweaver but with this it's completely free it's so easy to do so I hope you enjoyed my um, video guys if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe check out all my tutorial other tutorials guys and um, if you want if you like this video give it a thumbs up that's it guys see ya